you. Okay, Alana, thank you. Well, we hit a milestone across the state over the weekend with the snow water reaching 15.8 inches. This amount of moisture doesn't typically, typically accumulate in our mountains until early April. So roughly, we're a couple of months ahead of schedule. Yeah, just amazing this year. Mm -hmm. ABC4 meteorologist Nate Larson live at the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon tonight, breaking down what this means when it comes to replenishing those drought-stricken reservoirs. Nate. That's right, Glenn and Emily. So, uh, the snow that we have seen, uh, about a foot or more, Alana's going to go over some of the snow totals. I can hear myself in my ear, that's new. Uh, so, uh, the storm has brought uh, bonus snow, essentially, because this snowfall that has come uh, is basically above average now. So, when we talk about the statewide snowpack, it's 167% of normal. So, what does that really mean when we're talking about snow water equivalent? When we talk about snowpack and snow water equivalent, you're probably used to looking at graphs or colored maps like these. But let me show you how you can measure the water content in a snowpack. Snow water equivalent is the amount of moisture embedded within the snowpack. So we're gonna fill up one of these glass jars with snow and we're gonna take it inside and melt it down to show you how much water is in this amount of snow. We packed the glass bowl with snow and measured its depth at four inches. After melting it down, we measured 1.25 inches of water. Now, natural snowpack isn't usually this dense. Uh, we had a couple of really good storms where it was really wet. If you were trying to shovel it, it was awful. And uh, it was about five inches of snow that you needed to melt down to get an inch of water. Our statewide snow water equivalent consists of 16 water basins. Nearly all basins are averaging over 150% of normal for this time of year. By hitting the median snowpack of 15.8 inches already, any additional moisture should help chip away at our drought. We'd love to have above average. Our reservoirs are at about 49% right now, and typically this time of year they'd be at about 60%. In order to bring the reservoirs up to where they would typically be this time of year, we'd need about as much water as is in Bear Lake that much water to bring them all up. Reservoirs in the Severe River Basin really could use extra moisture. Yuba Lake, Gunnison, those are just bone dry and they've been dry for several years. Uh, so that basin in particular, we'd love to see get some water down there. All right, so the good news is, is any snow from here on through for early April is bonus snow, as I mentioned. Now asking Laura about the reservoir capacities, are we going to get back to about 100%? What's their forecast? Uh, it's not likely we'll fill them entirely full, but at least the stream flows are forecast to be anywhere from 110 to 130% of normal with the, all this snow that we've had so far this season. So live from near the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon, Nate Larson, ABC4 News. All right, we thank you, Nate. So